Good evening. I'm Sophia Choi. Jovita Moore is off. I'm Justin Farmer, and it is a story that's made national headlines. A former NFL player accused of vandalizing his own business with graffiti and racially motivated phrases. Tonight, only Channel 2 investigative reporter Mark Winnie talked with the man at the center of this controversy. Mark with us live from Gwinnett County. So, Mark, the guy's insisting he's innocent and, in fact, says it's happened to him again. And his attorney, Jackie Patterson, says Edon Kaufman will fight charges of misdemeanor false report of a crime and felony insurance fraud involving a September 11th incident at two businesses in a Gwinnett shopping center that's gone viral. And Kaufman's going on camera only with us. Unbelievable to me, man. Unbelievable how much stuff has happened to me in these last two weeks. I had good business is going. I have not, no. Edon Kaufman says he's tackled a lot in life to make it to the NFL, where he played offensive tackle for seven teams. Now he says he plans to tackle head on. You've seen online where you're compared to Jussie Smollett. Correct. How's that feel? I feel like it's disrespectful. Allegations he faked racial slurs and vandalism at his own restaurant and tried to collect the insurance. Guilty or innocent? I'm innocent. He had reported this incident to his insurance company prior to the officers even conducting that first pullover. If you think he's guilty of insurance fraud, I ask that you prove it because you'll never be able to prove it. A September 13th Gwinnett Police News release suggested Kaufman apparently came up with a, quote, premeditated plan to damage his own property and, quote, attempt to make it appear as a hate crime, that a back door had yellow pry marks, a search warrant on a truck Kaufman drove led to a yellow crowbar and cans of spray paint, and officers spotted several TVs in the truck. The brackets were still attached, and there was still drywall attached to the brackets, meaning somebody took them off very quickly. His place had already been burglarized, so therefore he decided to go get the rest of his property out. The emotion seemed to break loose after we thought his on-camera interview was over. Point. You understand how hard it was for me to get to that point. I had to do a lot. Coffin says the emotions came because he overcame having a father in prison since Coffin was three, bouncing from house to house, sometimes homeless, to make it to college. I worked really hard. To not be in the system. Then the NFL for six years, then ownership of a pair of pizza restaurants. Kaufman indicated after he got out of jail, someone vandalized a second business of his. They did some of the racial slurs. I'm just in a place that I have to rely on God. Now, we've reached out to police today. Uh, we were hoping for a second interview from them. The one we used was from several days ago. We also want to find out if there is an incident report on that second incident. Now, Patterson said because of the pending charges, he would not let Kaufman answer questions about the specific facts of the case in our interview. But now you've got both sides. Reporting live in Gwinnett County, Mark Winnie, Channel 2 Action News. Mark.